Hello. I want to thank you all for coming out to uh, hear us today. I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes talking to you about why mobile home parks, we believe, are the most interesting niche in real estate. My name is Jefferson Lilly, one of the co-founders of Park Street Partners. I'm joined by my partner, Brad Johnson, here. <clears throat> There's a real need in America for affordable housing. Something like 35% of American households survive on $35,000 a year or less. For those folks, the only path to home ownership is mobile homes. They'll never be able to afford a site-built house. It's our mission, socially, to help folks become homeowners and get out of the game of paying rent forever. It's also our economic mission to make a very fair rate of return for our investors. I'll go into the details here, but this is such an interesting niche because it's a mispriced asset class. There's actually diminishing supply. There is strong demand. The maintenance costs are relatively low, and the sellers are simply not as sophisticated as many of you in this audience. <clears throat> First, perception versus reality. Probably a lot of you in this audience have never thought of investing in a mobile home park. You may even be afraid of it. Uh, Brad and I are value investors, big fans of Warren Buffett, and it shouldn't be too much of a stretch to understand that when others are fearful, that's exactly the time to invest. This is not a hot asset class that folks are dying to get into. This is probably what most of you think a typical day in a mobile home park is like. <laughs> This is the reality. This is the Cherry Woods Mobile Home Park. We purchased this one in the Kansas City Metro uh, back in July. It's not in a floodplain. There's no gang-related activity that occurs here. The houses are vinyl-sided with shingle roofs, <coughs> double-pane thermal windows. You can see folks are even planting at their own time and expense, putting, putting in plants in front of their homes. These homes are owned by families. This property is about a block and a half from a very top quality elementary school. There's actually been a study done that documents there's simply no statistical difference in crime rates between mobile home parks and site-built neighborhoods. Second reason this is compelling is that the demand, sorry, the supply is actually shrinking. Over the last couple of decades, pretty much every city and county nationwide has changed their zoning laws to make it uh, just not possible to build any more mobile home parks. So by being in this business, you're participating in a government-enforced oligopoly. Supply curve is fixed. It's actually shrinking because about 1% of all mobile home parks every year are plowed under and turned into a shopping mall, an apartment complex, or what have you. <clears throat> While that demand curve uh, grows here, 1% uh, a year with population, again, the supply curve shrinks. That means prices go up. That's a very compelling uh, niche to invest in simply because of growing supply, sorry, growing demand and shrinking supply. The maintenance costs here are relatively low. A mobile home park will have an expense ratio between 30 and 40%. We obviously keep 60 to 70 cents of every dollar in rent. That compares quite favorably with a typical apartment building where expense, uh, expenses run 50 to 55%. Because our tenants own their mobile homes, they're responsible for maintaining all of those toilets and refrigerators and water heaters. Our expenses are very low. Our goal is to own a parking lot. Finally, sellers by and large are mom and pops. We've even looked at some deals where the sellers, mom and pop, live in the mobile home park. They're friendly with the residents. They're not pushing rents up on their friends. Many of these properties don't have a website, don't advertise in Craigslist or even the local newspaper. We've seen properties and bought one that was not even listed in the yellow pages. Mom and pops tend not to maximize the profitability of their own properties, and they tend not to be terribly strong negotiators when we're talking price and terms. 
<clears throat> I've been in this business about seven years, uh, had no difficulty generating 20% and better cash on cash returns in my properties. I've been featured this year in the New York Times, Bloomberg Magazine, also on television. Uh, I've got a, a prior background in consulting uh, and also operations. My partner Brad has been in real estate about 10 years, uh, raising money. He's been an investment banker in that business. Uh, he also has some prior operational experience. We think we're the guys to go after this space, given our track record, given our lengthy experience in the business, we think it's a very compelling asset class. You're simply not going to find any other niche in real estate where it's this mispriced, where it's literally a government-enforced oligopoly and you have no new competition and the supply, again, actually shrinking. You've got stable tenants and the maintenance costs are low. And, and again, the sellers are relatively unsophisticated. With that, I'll take a couple questions. <clears throat> 